Hi and welcome to this online training video for Automation Studio. In this video, we'll be looking at a logic gate circuit while building a 1 to 4 demultiplexer. So we can start by going into our digital electronics library here, expand it, and in here you can find the lines and connections, logical gates, the EU standard for logical gates, decoders, flip-flops, counters, inputs, and output components. So to build our demultiplexer, we'll need a couple input components. So I'll insert a logical switch. We'll need two inverters. Those can be found in logical gates. I'll need some end gates with three inputs as well. And finally, I'll need logical probes. You can notice that the logical probes are slightly small, so to resize them, you can right click onto them, uncheck lock size, and then change its, um, its size. So now we, we can read more easily what's written in it. So I can now lock back the size. Now I'll need to copy those components. So I could drag them back from the com from the library, but the easiest way is to hold down the control key and just drag them around. So one copy there in a second here. I'll need two inverters. I'll need a couple of end gates as well. And as many logical probes as end gates. Now we'll have a, a couple of connections to create. So if you are trying to do this at home as well, then I strongly advise you to keep your components well uh, spaced. Uh, otherwise, you may get lost in the lots of connections that are going to come. So let's get started. You notice that now that my create my connection, if it's not straight, then I can adjust the position of my components. So I try to keep my drawing as clean as possible. So by default in Automation Studio, see that the jump here has been created. So if you want to keep this, it's perfect. But you can also go in the project properties to change the standard of the lines and to remove those jumps if you don't want them. So I try to keep it as spaced and clear as possible. And here a final contact. Now that I believe that all my connections are properly done before going to simulation, I'll copy paste its truth table from the Excel file I've prepared. So I can open Excel here, copy and paste straight to Automation Studio. So you see a good example of the high compatibility in between Office Suite software and Automation Studio. Now as I go to my simulation, I have my power switch to my demultiplexer here, so I can turn this on. 
I got my A input, my B input, as well as my outputs here, first, second, third, and fourth. So from this truth table, we notice that if both A and B inputs are false, then only my first input will be true, which is the case at the moment. These two are false or zero, and now only my S1 is being true. Now as I turn on my B input, it's going to be the second, so here. Now if I only turn my A input, it's going to be the third one that's going to be true. And finally, if I turn my A and B inputs on, then my fourth exit here will be true. Thanks for watching this online training video for Automation Studio. We invite you to watch the other videos. And we'd like to thank you for your time.